Hey guys, Anthony with The Rag Company, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how to properly clean off-road tires and remove deep embedded browning on the tire sidewall. Now, this is something that we haven't really covered before in a video to this degree, and we want to show you how to bring back that beautiful black finish on a tire and how to prepare it for a proper dressing. So we're gonna begin the process by using Forced Citrus Pre-Cleaner by Stiarna Gloss. Now the rag company sells multiple products that are suitable for this job, but we really find that Force melts this browning off within the first few sprays, which is absolutely incredible. However, we still will need to agitate this. So letting the Force dwell, we're gonna see a lot of that browning begin to melt off, and it is very satisfying to see. From there, we're gonna be taking our pressure washer and rinsing off the sidewall of the tire thoroughly. And you're gonna see a lot of that browning come off initially, but trust me when I say there's plenty left. So taking more force, I'm gonna spray the tire down. And then from there, I'm gonna be taking my Detail Factory tire brush and I'm gonna start working the tread. Now I'm gonna start with the sidewalls first and work my way up to the tread, going left, right, up, down, left, right, up, down, trying to get into all those nooks and crannies on this aggressive tread pattern on these BF Goodrich KO2s. Now this is an excruciating process where you're gonna have to put a ton of elbow grease in. And I mean, you're gonna have to scrub and scrub hard because a lot of that browning could be there for years before you're actually doing this process to remove all of it. So again, it's a lot of work, but trust me when I say, once it's done, that dressing is gonna look beautiful. So once the tire is scrubbed, we're gonna rinse it one more time and we are going to examine our work. Now the idea is to continue this process until there is literally no more brown coming off that tire. So using more force, I'm spraying it on there and the things I'm looking for is browning on initial spray and then of course more browning on scrubbing. I'm going to keep scrubbing that force into that tire until that foam is as white as it can be. That's gonna tell me that I have a very, very clean tire. And as you can see from this shot right here, it's getting cleaner and cleaner with every pass. So once the tire is no longer bleeding brown, it's time to clean the wheel itself. Because we use so much of that force, I wanna make sure that there's no residual chemical on the wheel. So going through with my soft green bristle brush, I'm going through with Huel Wheel Cleaner, which I like because it's not just a wheel cleaner, but it's also a fallout remover as well. So going through, spraying it into my brush, spraying it on the wheel and agitating everything. Now, once I've done with the big brush stuff, I'll jump to a Detail Factory Boar's Hair Brush and start working around the lugs and start working into the more intricate areas. Now, this wheel is extremely complicated. It takes a lot of time to clean this and oftentimes I like to just use a towel, uh, but the brush is going to give me a deeper clean. After I'm done cleaning the intricate wheel, I'll spray everything off. And then from there, for my drying aid, I'm actually gonna be using a little bit of the PNS Dream Maker along with a microfiber towel. So going through, knocking out all the spokes, cleaning everything up, and making sure that I don't have any type of residual chemical left on the wheel that I don't want. Now for the dressing, I am using Stearna Gloss Gumi. I like Gumi because it's a very long lasting tire dressing and trim dressing that seems to hold up for even off-road use. We've seen this stuff last up to two months, which is pretty incredible for a water-based dressing. Now taking the product, I like to spread it evenly around the face of the tire uh, because of all of our deeper clean, this is going to stick much better than most traditional dressings, especially aerosol ones. Now for the deeper tread, I like to use a Detail Factory brush and I like to get in there and kind of paint on that dressing into the deeper tread. This is gonna give me a more universal look and finish and is going to make the tire literally look brand new. 
Now with Gumi, the more you apply, the glossier it gets. So for that satin finish, I like to take a towel and knock it down at about the halfway point just to show you guys a good contrast of the clean tire versus the dress tire. Now for this particular tire, I wanted to show you guys a glossy look of Gumi. So I'm applying a lot more dressing to my applicator and a lot more dressing to my brush, making sure to get a nice even coverage here and using the brush to get into that deeper tread wear. Now you'll notice that this stuff is going on like a glazed donut. For people that love that look, awesome. For people that don't, you can just knock it down with a towel like I did on the other tire to give more of that satin finish. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Again, keep chasing that browning until it's no longer there and your dressing will stick for much longer and look much better. So as always, thank you guys all for watching this video. If you like this content, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more and stay tuned for more videos right here at The Rat Company.